Aloha and welcome back to Talk Story with John Waihe'e. Here we are, another week and another interesting show. With us today, we have two of the most, uh, I guess, esteemed members of the uh, Kauai Hau Church here on Oahu. First of all, we have uh, Kahu, Kenneth Makuakani, who is the young Kahu for the uh, church, and I'm so excited to have you here, Ken. Always. And uh, the big boss, the board of uh. trustees, the chairman of the board of trustees for Kauai Hau Church. He's the spiritual leader, and you're the guy that gets the money, right? Well, the... we try. We try our best, you know. <laughs> we, uh, we, we work for eternal life over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that seems to be the pay for most people working for churches. Yeah. Now, now, Governor, did you say esteemed leaders or esteemed? Esteemed. Esteemed. Thank, thank That's a, sort of a combination of both. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> thank you for that. All right. Well, tell us a little bit just about uh, Kauai Hau, for those of us uh, people viewing that may not know. Um, well, sure. Uh, um, you know, we're, we are termed as the Westminster Abbey of Hawaii, um, the Mother Church. Uh, we were um, established in 1820 when the missionaries first came over. And then this iteration, this building was... Um, Put together, well, it was... And this, this is the building on the corner... The corner of Punch Bowl and King. Punch Bowl and King, right. Right, right across from City Hall. Right across from City Hall. Mm -hmm. And it's the more pretty version of... Well, the, the prettiest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell us about it. <laughs> yeah, so in 1841, King Kamehameha III, Kawiki Awuli, um, had built this wonderful um, stone church, which is actually built of coral. Wow. I mean, the, the interesting part about it is that all this coral rock comes from the reef out in Waianae coast. And then they, they, they swam down and they chiseled it. But it's they not, did it in a way that was ecologically uh, viable. They didn't destroy the reef Back in 1839. I mean, yeah. uh, can you imagine? And, and also engineering at its finest. Because they went down there, chipped it away into slabs, a thousand pound slabs. Yeah. Wow. And then uh, rectangles. And then they brought it up. To shore, threw it in the canoe, right, and then they had to bring it all the way down the shore to the uh, where Honolulu is presently. Well, right? that's fantastic. You and then do that fourteen thousand slabs. Fourteen thousand, one thousand pound slabs. Right. Wow! So that's the <laughs> church that's located on the corner of Punchbowl and King, King Street. Yes, yeah. and it's the Westminster Abbey of yeah. Hawaii. Now. Unfortunately, we're going to start off with uh, not the best uh, part of the history, but recently, recently, uh, the, the news reports were that there were a number of gravestones. Now, as I understand it, the church itself is, uh, next to the church, there are a number of graveyards. Uh, yeah, there's, we're, we're on seven acres. We, the Kauai Hau Church owns seven acres in urban Honolulu. Right. And it's basically one city block. Wow. And uh, uh, the cemetery itself is on about three of those acres. Right. And so it's a rather large cemetery, uh, Hawaiian families. There's... And these were from members of yeah. members that are of families that are members of the church. Yeah, uh, or part of the, the royal families too. And uh, right. on, on the property is King Lunalilo's tomb as yes. well. Yes. And then further in uh, is where the, the headstones that were vandalized. So you had were. some of the headstones in these graveyards of yeah. vandalized. What does that mean? I okay. Mean, so what, well, what they did was uh, whoever did it, and we don't know whether it's singular or collective. We don't know whether it's random or complicit. But 27 headstones were toppled over on the Now, day. these are old, ancient headstones. Over 100 I mean, years old, about 100, 100 years, years old. Uh, over 100 years so uh, 27 were toppled for whatever reason. Right. Happened on the day before Independence Day, uh, July 3rd. So we went down and we took a look at it. It was rather stunning, to tell you the truth. I, I, I expect it probably had a very negative effect on your... Uh, on everybody. On, yeah, on the community. As, yeah. And uh, I'm assuming the church membership must have been really saddened by all of this. Or angry at least. I'm certainly stunned. Very. I mean, we had we had a, a number of the descendants that came down, and you know, there was a lot of crying going on. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, what do you, you know? I mean, it's like your aunt, you know, your ancestors. Maybe even uh, people who your grandmother talked to That's you right. about, mm -hmm. you know, and so yeah, forth. It was a dark. It was a dark episode. At that particular time, that moment was a stunning moment for everybody, and uh, you know, it didn't matter what what faith-based organization you're, or religion you're part of. We're getting calls from all over the place, and so the next day was July Fourth. We we did the regular police report found out what we had to do officially. And then the next day, we were starting to reach out. It was July 4th, it was Independence Day, right, nobody's with that right, sort of right, thing. Right. So we took lay down, and we draped the, all, of these. all of the headstones with lay, and family began coming down. And actually, there began some bright spots that we can remember, recall from the first moments, like family coming down to meet each other for the first time over the griefs. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. That's, well, I have to add to cool. it. We find out that under these gravestones, you think there's that there's only one kupuna, but then we find out from the families, no, there there's like up to nine that are buried wow. in the same spot. Wow. But only the families would know these uh, this information. And and and, and um, are we? Do we have a plan to restore any of well, this? Well, you or? know, this is so interesting that we're talking with you today, which is approximately oh a week plus a couple of days. Since the event, right, right, and uh, uh, you know, we're pleased to say that some of the people that responded, uh, we as a church, this is not what we, we're not the experts, we're not the stone masons, right, that right. do this type right. of work. So you know, we reached out to some professionals, and then the boys from the union, the bricklayers union, really, okay, local one, Mel Silva, gives us a call, and he says, you know, brick. I'm not a religious guy, but I was listening on to the radio. You see, all the bad boys who were forced to go to church on Sunday, you know, they all start yeah, off yeah, with it. Yeah. I'm not a religious guy, but nobody yeah, better hurt my church. That's you know? right. <laughs> so so, he, so yeah. that morning, actually Wednesday morning, Kahu had uh, uh, texted me and said, you know, 20 headstones plus went down. So I went down there. And then the next day was uh, July 4th. And that's, I guess that's when Mel's heard about it on the radio. And he immediately drove down. He said, God, God talked to me. Went, oh, my, okay. <laughs> I'm not a religious yeah, guy. Not a religious guy. God talked to me. But I know his voice when I hear it. Yeah. So he went down, and he said, you know, I'm so disgusted by this. Yeah. He yeah, said, yeah. we want to do everything. Well, that's why I wanted you on the show today, because I, I was moved personally by, yeah. by the whole episode. I mean, you just don't do that sort yeah. of thing. You so know? for whatever reason... You know, the church wants to pray for whomever yeah. because we believe that, uh, you know, the universe, uh, we, we're just going to do what we do, which is restore and repair as best as we can for the families, right. for the church, for Hawaii. And then we obviously are going to revisit our security systems for the church. So that's exactly what we did. By the end of the first week, we had uh, essentially talked to the people that could uh, repair and restore and revisited our security systems. I so. What happened was... Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Uh, today, about 15 bricklayers came down, and they restored everything. Really? The stones are so, back up. Okay, let me, tell you the, let me tell you the back story. So he and I show up the next morning, and all of the headstones are down. So there's four of us. There's four guys. We can't even lift one of these things back wow. up. And you're, you're looking at two pretty strong Hawaiians. Oh, the strongest. We <laughs> <laughs> tried to attach the rope to the, the, because, you know, we figured this is the strongest part of the Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can just see. I, I know you tough guys are out there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so four of us, we only could uh, pick up one stone. Really? Yeah, the others are like three, 400 pounds. I, I heard that these stones are really um, like... Uh, I'm not like I wouldn't know if the word is antique, but they were they were old stones. I mean, yeah. they, these were not yes. something that you could just go okay. and. So for people to understand how old, look at the Bishop Museum. You see all those rocks. That's the same kind of stones we're talking about. Wow. So when you imagine Bishop Museum rocks, you yeah. know the building is the same kind of. So stones. anyway, this thing they, you got this all restored. Now we the Bricklayers Union, right? Yeah, right. I, I understand. And, and, and Allied Craftsmen. An allied craft. Local so, one. So they they are actually know what they're doing. They know I what mean, they're this doing. is not a question of just getting help. Well, when know. they came down to assess the situation, right? Because Mel sent down about four four guys. 
So we're meeting with them and say, what about dowels? You know, maybe dowels might crack the headstone more. Right. right. But we got epoxy. I said, oh, how, you know, how strong is the epoxy? He said, we build the condominiums with this stuff. <laughs> oh, okay, you know best. So that's what they did today. In one day, it was amazing. We had planned on like one week, right? Yeah. Uh, they brought down about 15 guys. Hawaiian dredging uh, uh, donated some um, scaffolds and, and some beams and some hoists. You know, I, I, I got to tell you, you know, the community, uh, it's really heartwarming when the community responds like that, especially to mm -hmm. a yeah. tragedy like this. Oh, so, absolutely. You know, I guess uh, you, you want to take this opportunity to give a shout out to all of these people. Yeah. You know, thank you very much. But I understand that the mission houses uh, yeah. earlier had a similar type of... Exactly. Two of theirs were uh, fell. Oh, yeah. two. Yes, two. And there, you know, they found a suspect. Well, it was a long shot, kind of a far shot. And, um, you know, I'm not quite sure whether a person of that stature could do what they did to those stones, to the headstones at Kwai Ha'o's. Yeah, because um, it, if you guys couldn't lift one of these uh, headstones, yeah. I mean, you, you need... Well, you're going to have to need somebody with an awful lot of... Yeah, or more than or one. more than one. Right, but interestingly enough, the stones, some of them were, uh, about half of the stones that were toppled over were on, um, like, foundation bases. So the mortar was about 100 years old that attached them. So maybe they could have done it, but certainly it took a lot of hands to lift it back up and to set it again. Well, you know, I, I'm glad that the story has, has a good ending, you know, and I, and I appreciate at least what you were mm -hmm. uh, alluding to when you said, as far as the church concerned, you know, you just want to restore everything. Yeah. So I, I'm assuming that punishment is in the hands of, I, don't I, play I, around with the, with the cool, you know, but uh, yeah. Interesting. the civil authority. Everybody that we've talked to understands that idea too, you know, that we can only do so much. Immediately, short term, mid term, long term. Right. And so, for the short term, the repair restoration is just about done because tomorrow they're going to go around and uh, grout uh, the, the sides. Of the okay, I, I, I speak yeah. English, but grout? Yeah, grout. You know, that's. Uh, uh, you know, the tiles. The tiles. Yeah. The, the, the in between of the, each. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I know. Well, <laughs> now I know. <laughs> I can speak now with authority together. now. Now we all together. Yeah, but thank you to everybody for putting I their know. hands. Oh, yes. that, that was really good. Now, this is a good chapter uh, in the uh, history of Kauai Hau. But I also know that we have an exciting celebration coming up. Right. You know, and, um, and it's because, I guess the, um, the church itself was founded in 1820? Yes. In 1820, so that makes... That's 200 years old next year. So next year, the Kauai Hau will be 200 years old. That's right. The original Kauai Hau church was a grass shack, a long grass shack. And then, you know, a decade and maybe a few years later, it became what it is today, when it was commissioned by the Ali'i to be built in such a manner. Yeah, 1844. 1841. 1841, yeah. 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 And so it's always been the Ali'i Church of Hawaii. And interestingly enough, we've gone through some, some special times where, you know, say during the overthrow. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, Kwai Hao, we're not blameless too, right? When we had our... We had well, our, before uh, we go there, though, we're going to take a short break. Oh, okay, okay. And when we come back, we want to talk about exactly that. <laughs> don't, 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 we want to okay, talk good, about good, those good. moments. That's so good. right now, we're going to take a short break, and we will be right back. I'm Richard Emery, one of the co-hosts with Condo Insider, sitting next to my other co-host, Jane Sugimura. We're very pleased to be on Think Tech Hawaii and provide this show of education, news, and topics affecting living in an association. About 38% of our population lives in an association, and you have very specific needs and rules to make an effective pairing of your home. So we're glad to be a part of this show, and what do you think, Jane? Uh, and uh, yes, we're very uh, pr proud to be part of this uh, program. And what we uh, want to do is to bring to all of the people who are involved with condos, especially people who sit on the boards and the owners, topics uh, that you know, will assist them in governing uh, their projects and uh, you know, dealing with issues that you know, are, 
that boards and owners have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. And our show is every Thursday at 3 o'clock. We hope you watch it. And always feel free to send in topics for discussion. Aloha. 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 Welcome back to Talk Story with John Waihe'e. Why are we have an interesting story? We're talking about Kauai Hau Church today. We just got through discussing uh, what happened with the vandalism of the grave sites and how the community pulled together to today, on this very day, restore all the grave uh, headstones that had gotten thrown over. For those of you that want to ask our guests any question, the number to call is 808 374-2014. We have with us the Kahu of Kawaiahau Church, Kenneth Makuakani, and we have the chairman of the Board of Trustees, uh, Senator Brickwood Gullateri. Mm. So here we are talking about the uh, Kauai House. You know, actually, actually, you know, we did have one call that just came in, and, and the question was about vandalism. I, I just wanted to make sure that we, we know it not, it, that's not vandalism. That's desecration. Desecration. And Des desecration. And, and, and so Absolutely. Thank you, and thank, I, I apologize. No, no. For and thank you to word. the caller for calling in because desecration means that you you have you have taken something that's sacred and you have turned that around and, and something that's very heavy. You yeah. know that. And so it's like going into somebody's house and victimizing you. Yes, you know, yes, that's, more than just uh, throwing rubbish on your right. on your Because, because yard. How, how can you say, you know, that's desecration when, what did, what did these families and their kupuna do to you to make you want to desecrate right. or, uh, you know, something that, that's sacred to, that to the is, families? That is sacred yeah. and that is so meaningful. Right. So, yeah, de desecration. And, and, and thank you for bringing that up and actually correcting me because I don't think we should ever use the word uh, vandalism. vandalism. You this. know, interesting uh, what it's done for the church to in just this short amount of time since the desecration up until today. And one of the really warm parts of the story is there was a, there's a young lady. Her name is Yvonne. I can't recall her, her last name, but she works right across the street. And she saw what happened. She came over. And who indeed was her great grandma's grave. Wow. It was her family family grave. And she was crying and and then today I saw her walk out of the church uh, cemetery. She had just gotten through checking out the grave. And she got a chance to talk to the uh, the bricklayers themselves. Right. The and people to thank, who, who oh, yeah. did it. She had this beaming smile on her face, you know, it was a, a new day for her and so it's it's not a lot for different people in different ways. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, it's a new day, and we got an exciting time coming up. You were just beginning to tell us about the uh, 200th yeah. anniversary. Yeah. But before we got quite there, we had a little bit of history. That yeah, you... we went to 1893. <laughs> 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 we were at 1893 yeah. from uh, 1820 when the... Um, yeah, right. When, when we put when, the, when the what, church what was, was erected. Bingham, I guess. Reverend Bingham. Bingham which was, was the first one. Yes, the first was, one. Yeah. He, by the way, he was the missionary who converted a, every, a lot of people. And then went home, you know. Yeah, well, o o o o yeah, o yeah. O actually went to Boston. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he started that. Uh, the but mission. I mean, this one went home. He didn't hang around no, he and didn't. mess around no. with everybody else. No. Okay, yeah. so 1893. <laughs> well, tell us what. Oh. Well, 1893 obviously was the overthrow. Yeah. Right. And then the days that led up to the overthrow. Now it's you know history would suggest. That, in fact, we'll probably confirm and and ask for apologies again. <laughs> but you know, Quayhau was complicit in some of this. Oh, and, unfortunate. And that's why Lili Okalani actually left the church. And this was the mother church. And she uh, went to... Uh, St. Andrews. St. Andrews, yeah, yes. which has its own history. Right, right. But this church since then has done practically everything it could to support uh, right. Hawaiian culture and the, ho ho the Hawaiian community. Well, absolutely. I I mean, this is the home of where... Uh, uh, the, the Hawaiian Lahui. The Ali'i you know, Sundays, yes. where the societies and the civic clubs all come together to celebrate the birthday of a, so, of a royal, royal. So you were telling me you, you had this uh, meeting with the uh, Royal Society well, you know, and, when, you, and you had to tell them he had know, to when tell them When Kau came, first came, which was about a year ago, you know, new season, right? Right, right. And so he was doing things that, uh, you know, we're not used to. Sorry. <laughs> for you, well, not for, for me. For you, you got a young Kau. You know, you things are going to be different. Well, you, you know? got to tell him why you did what you did. 
we cry because this is our people. When we talk right. about, you know, we try to split up. Are you Hawaiian or are you Christian? Right. You know, no, no, are, they, they, we no, are so, and we, yes. we, we are people of and we are Hawaiian, we are Christian, we are humans, right. you know, and so we have to embrace everything. He talked about being universal. You know, we are all about humanity and about all of right. creation. And so when he was talking about the church being complicit, that was during the time of um, the Reverend Henry Hodges Parker. Oh, you know, Parker. Henry Parker, who, who, who did. was uh, kind of, I think, uh, kind of related to me uh, somehow. Or maybe um, uh, right, but anyway, what do you do? Uh, but he won't be the only relative I had. You're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna apologize to him? <laughs> maybe. No. So at that time, yeah. um, the Raw Societies came in, and also the Board of uh, Trustees for Lili Wokalani Trust, uh -huh. uh, and it was during Lili U's birthday. Lili Sunday. It was a Lili Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. And and they sat there, and I started talking about all of the things that Lili U did. And he had a great saying um, from that timeless princess. Oh, stuff. yeah, yeah. What was it? He needed to end up. Um, she stood down so that we can stand up there. Yes. Yes, she yes, stood yes, down. Yes, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. That, that was his, yeah. What yeah. a beautiful saying. She stood down so we could stand Which up. Which is exactly the, a very apt description mm -hmm. of what she did in yes. respect to uh, right. the overthrow. Right. And so that's what happened. It was because of what. He was saying, it made me feel really bad. That so you make things porno with... Uh, right. I said, it, this is 100 years, you know, a little over 100 years later. It is time. And so I went to the, the trustees who were sitting in the front pews, and I went on my knees, and I apologized on behalf wow. of the church. Wow. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm sure that, was, that uh, I'm sure that was a very moving moment for everybody. Yeah. And uh, and I'm sure that there were a few little older conservative members that might have. Yeah, what are you doing that for? <laughs> <laughs> but you know, but that's why you want a young pastor. Oh, you know? I don't know, but you know, but, but, but the fair, thing like today, re reasonable, but, but just like but modern pastor. But like today, you know, the, the news crew came over because, because they were repairing um, the headstones, and so they asked me, "So what do you want us to say?" I want, I want, and I said. I want to say I forgive you. Oh, wow. wow. Because just as much as we ask for forgiveness, we also have to be the ones yeah. to offer forgiveness yeah, first. Because in terms of the church and in terms of the spirituality of it, you know, this whoever did this, yeah. you know, you want to forgive them. Sure. That's somebody else's job to make sure they never do it again. Yeah. yeah. But let me just say, as the chair of the board, if we do find someone, we will to the fullest extent of the law, right. take care of that. Right. But until such time, I mean, we said, we're going to, you know. Yeah, no, I, no, I understand. I understand. I understand the difference between forgiving and making sure that the consequences. Are, that's you know, that's no. correct. Uh, I, you know, in fact, um, if I was younger, I would say that if I found the guy, you know, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, you know, we would forget our Christianity. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, but just for a moment, Pastor, I, I promise you, it, we will afterwards ask for forgiveness ourselves. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Okay, yeah, let's I'm, talk about the 200th anniversary. Yeah. What, what, so we go to next year, the 200th anniversary. Is the, are we planning events leading up to that? I mean, what, what, what happens? I mean, this is a great moment. Uh, the Westminster Abbey yeah. of Hawaii where... I guess the kings were actually crowned. Okay, you want to get back to 200. Let me talk about 200. Kaui Keoli, Kamehameha III. Remember, France was the first one that overthrew us. Right. For six months, when they gave us back the kingdom, on the stairs of the brand new Kauai Hau Church is when Kamehameha III proclaimed, on the front steps of Kauai Hau, Uomau Kea o Kaina i Ka Pono. Mm -hmm. Right there. Yeah. And that's uh, and that was the beginning of the beginning. Uh, of the you know, and it was at those moments that uh, made Hawaii the civilized country that everybody recognized. Mm -hmm. You know, you know and, we got uh, two hundred years. Was it the French or the British that took it over? I think, I think it was Admiral Thomas. It was the British, right? You know what? It was all Europeans to me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, was one of those hey, guys. Brother, just between us. <laughs> they sound different, but they all look alike. Yes, right? Between yeah, us. 
<laughs> just between us yeah. guys. Yeah. Anyway, we got the 200 coming up. Yeah. Yeah. It's, so, going to, it's going to be quite, uh, quite an eventful year. Yeah. Uh, we're already, begin, we've begun documenting it, and we, you know, it'll probably be, uh, begin with a, a full-scale documentary about the history of the church. So it's going to go on major media. Okay, you good. Know, we'll, we'll move in that direction. We've got some incredible events that, that are planned for the entire year. A time capsule that we're going to uh, assemble Don't you, together. Isn't there kind of a, already a time capsule someplace in the building? Uh, it was already open several years oh, ago. It was already open. It was open. a cornerstone. Corner, and under the cornerstone, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. But we're going to put, uh, you know, items from 2020 to be opened up in maybe 21, I mean, What 20. kind of stuff would you put in? You make it interesting. You know, sometimes in the old days, they, they used to make it so we're gonna We're going to put this show in there. <laughs> we're gonna put I don't know show. if you want to be that interesting. <laughs> <laughs> we, we may both jump in there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's funny, but... Uh, <laughs> I remember when I was governor, we did one of those things, you know, and I, I, years later, I thought, yeah. man, it was the most boring stuff we put in some the state budget. And yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Well, know. we've yet to determine what that is, but probably, you know, the Hawaiian Bible. I mean, the and, budget? <laughs> oh, the state budget. The church budget. <laughs> no, the church budget. <laughs> That's you, okay, so we got that. We got a number of events planned. And when would be, like, the, the major day? Okay, so in, on September 22nd is w what we call the Commissioning Sunday. So um, there'll be a bunch of us, mm -hmm. including um, the senator, that will be going to Boston. And why Boston is because Henry Upokahia, um went, went to the East Coast, became a Christian, uh, wanted fervently for Hawaii to be Christianized, but he passed away prior to that in um, 1800. And that's why Bingham and the rest and of the, the Bingham mission. And, yes, and so on uh, what is it, October 15th. We'll be there. Of 20, uh, 1820 is when they were they were uh, commissioned at the Park Street Church in Boston. So are you doing these things like That's jointly exactly, with, yes, the, uh, with the the home church? I with guess the home church we are. Yeah. So oh, we terrific. so we will be delivering the message, the same message that was delivered in 1820. We're going to deliver the same message or 1819, the same message in okay. 2019. Um, in both in English and in the Hawaiian language. Well, that's fantastic. So they're going to hear Hawaiian in Boston. I want to thank both of you yeah, for being you, here Governor. today. And for Appreciate those of that. you listening, we got a great, great year planned uh, over the course of this year and beginning again in, uh, in 2020, 2020 to celebrate the 200th anniversary of the Westminster Abbey of Hawaii. Aloha, everybody. Join us in two weeks.